What is up, everybody? So this is my series on six ratio questions. You absolutely got to get down for the PSAT, SAT, and ACT. Share this with people who need it. And definitely leave a comment if you have any questions. Let's get into it. All right, so this is one of those questions that you can actually use the answer choices to get it right. It's a little bit of a complicated word problem and you can use those answer choices. So it tells us the total of $24,000 is being invested. The amount invested in bonds is half the amount invested in stocks. How much is invested in bonds? So when we use the answer choices, what do we always start with? We start with answer choice C because the answers on the PSAT, SAT, and ACT are arranged from least to greatest or greatest to least. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's start with choice C, 10,000. Remember, the question is asking how much is invested in bonds. So it lets us know the total is 24,000. So we can say equals 24,000. And then we know bonds and stocks are what we're investing in. And it's asking about the bonds. So let's just say B and then S. So for bonds, we're gonna use answer choice C, 10,000. It says the amount invested in bonds is half the amount invested in stocks. So if 10,000 is half, what's the stock amount gonna be? It's gonna be twice 10,000 which is 20,000. 10,000 plus 20,000 is 30,000, not 24,000. So what do we need to do? We definitely need to go to a smaller one. So let's try answer choice B, 8,000. So let's say 8,000 is our B. We don't know our S, so what do we know? The amount that's invested in bonds is half of what's invested in stocks. So if we have 8,000 for bonds and we have twice that for stocks, we have 16,000 for stocks, two times 8,000 is 16,000, Eight and 16,000 does give us 24,000. So we know answer choice B is correct. Now, I'm gonna show you how to set this up algebraically as well, because it's an important skill for other problems. So here's the deal. We have bonds, and then we know the amount invested on bonds is half the amount invested in stocks. So we're gonna say the amount invested in bonds is half the amount invested in stocks. So again, this is equal to 24,000. So let's write equals 24,000. Now, I know it's talking about half, but think about what's happening here. And this is an easier way to write this equation. We have our bonds, so let's just write B for bonds. Now, what do we know about the stocks? It says the bonds is half the amount invested in the stocks. So if the bonds amount is half of what's invested in stocks, what can we do? We know that the amount invested in stocks, our S, has gotta be two times whatever was invested in bonds. So really what we have is bonds and then stocks, but the stocks is two times B. So we can write bonds plus two times bonds equals 24,000. So now what can we do? B plus two B is 24,000. Three B is 24,000. Divide both sides by three and we get bonds is 8,000, which confirms what we had. Remember, you can use either of these methods to get the problem right. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Make sure to watch the rest of the videos in this series to get the help that you need for the PSAT, SAT, and ACT. And make sure to check out our other series. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe because this is obviously the best thing that's ever happened to SAT prep. <laughs> there we go. And I like love it. I think yeah. that's the one.